Hello and welcome to Tech by Tosh. My name is Toshit and in this video we are going to look at how to use workflows in Microsoft Teams. We will be looking at how to create different kinds of workflows and how to manage those workflows which are actually created by Power Automate in the background. So let's go and check it out. Now to use the workflow apps in Microsoft Teams, first we need to do is to add the workflow apps in Teams. Now to add the workflow apps in Teams, we click on the three little dots and search for workflows. Once we get the workflows, we click on the workflows and it will open up a window. Um, I see the open button because I have already added the workflow apps, but if you haven't added the workflow app yet, you will see the add button. So go ahead and click on the add button. So once you have added the workflow app, then we go on to the apps section. So under the app sections, you will find, you know, there are all the different, all the um, different themes apps and the workflows. So we are going to look at the workflows. So let's just close the app section and expand the workflows. So under these workflows, so these are all the different workflows that are actually available within Microsoft Teams. All these workflows are actually powered by Power Automate in the background. You can scroll through the list. There are a number of different workflows to be used within Microsoft Teams. So you can click on the all templates and these are all the different workflows uh, which you can actually use. You can click on the approval workflows. Uh, there are some calendar workflows if you really want to go by the categories. Um, my favorite one is edited pics. So under that, these are most of the you know popular kind of workflows which we can actually use day to day, but feel free to go ahead and you know look at the, all the other different workflows which are actually available within Microsoft Teams. My favorite one is basically save a message to OneNote. I personally work quite a lot in Microsoft OneNote and in Teams and sometimes you know I really want to save a message directly from my chat windows or you know from shared channels to Microsoft OneNote. So this is quite handy and you know could be quite useful. So let's try to use this workflow. So let's just click on this and we want to use this workflow. So it will ask us for some details. So it'll ask us for a name. So I'm happy with the name and we just click sign in, which will sign in into Microsoft Teams, OneNote and Office 365 users. Once it signs in, it will take us to the next step. Click next. And it is now going to ask us which notebook we are going to use and what's the section in the notebook that we want to save those messages. So just click on this. So I've got this, you know, quick notes notebook that I want to use. And under quick notes, I have a section called to do. I want to use this section. So let's just pick that section and click add workflow. So it's now creating a, a workflow in the background. And once it creates the workflow, it will basically show you, you know, how you can actually use that workflow. So the workflow is there ready to use, and this is how you can actually use it. So basically on any chat message, click on the more motions or three dot buttons and you know, from there you can actually run the workflow. So let's just close this window. So now we have added the workflow and we want to use the workflow now. So let's just go back to Teams. And uh, you know, these are all the different channels. So for example, you might have something within your uh, channel or probably you can actually go to chat and save some messages. So let's just have a look at, you know, some of the messages from the, from the Teams channels. So I want to save this to uh, a OneNote and I really want to you know uh, work on this later um, let's just click on the three dot icons again and click more actions and this is the action the workflow that we have basically created save a message to OneNote so let's just go ahead and click this it's actually now going to run the workflow in the background um, if you want we can actually add some additional notes so these are my additional notes and click submit and it's now actually running the workflow in the background now we have done that so let's just go back uh, and see what actually happened in the OneNote so I've got the OneNote open and I can see you know under a quick notes uh, notebook under the to-do section it has actually created a page message from Toshit Bhardwaj and this is the message that we have actually you know, kind of saved from our Teams chat um, to Microsoft OneNote. And there's actually a link to the message as well. I can see it has also added any additional notes that I have provided. 
Um, so this is how basically you can actually use the workflow, uh, you know, to save any messages from Teams to you or not. Let's have a look at some other workflows that we can actually use. So we'll go back to Teams and obviously under workflows, let's just try to pick something else as well. Um, schedule a reply. This is a really good one. You know, if you really want to schedule a reply to a, a particular message or maybe, you know, uh, you just want to show that you're working very late or very early in the morning. Um, you know, based on your requirements, uh, you can actually schedule a reply. So what this will do is you pick the days and time and this will post a message uh, or reply to a message within Microsoft Teams. So let's see how this one works. So we're happy with the name and then we click sign in again. Um, after we've done that, um, so let's just add the workflow. So it's now adding the workflow, getting it ready for us. Again, this will show you how you can actually run the workflow. Um, so we click done and let's just go back to the chat window. So there is, there is another person that I've been chatting to. So I probably, you know, um, want to reply to a message uh, to be posted as a later date. And let's just click on the three dot menu again. And we go to more actions and under that we will see schedule a reply. So let's just go ahead and create this workflow. It will now ask us when do we want the reply to be sent so let's just pick a date uh, I want the reply to be sent tomorrow you pick up a time you know it could be um, at a midnight or very early in the morning um, so you pick the time for example it's 3 30 a.m. in the morning and this is a message that you really want to send or reply so let's just put the message in um, you have an option to notify yourself when the message is posted um, I want to do that as well so let's just Click that option and click submit so what this will do is it will basically post the message uh, a reply to this message you know um, 3 30 a.m. in the morning and people might think it you're basically working really early in the morning um, so you know that's how you can actually create all these workflows so if I go back to the workflows apps you know there are really some cool workflows that you can actually use so let's just go back to the edit picks again. You know, um, there are some other workflows if you really want to create some planner tasks. Um, you know, this is about a, a planner task and you can actually create a Google task from a message. So there are a number of different options. Um, you know, you don't have to code anything. So let's jump and have a look, you know, what is actually happening? Uh, what if you want to, you know, switch off some of the workflows and how you actually manage those workflows? Let's click on the three dot actions again and type power automate I know I've got power automate uh, at the top but you know if you search for it uh, you will find the power automate and click on power automate so all these workflows are actually managed through power automate um, in the background and we will see a list of all these workflows listed within this section um, you can go through you know through searching power automate or you can also click on apps and obviously click on the workflows and you know you can click on the manage workflows to go to that power automate section so on this power automate section you can see we have created two workflows the workflows are there that's the status of the workflows you know it's on it's working and you know when they were modified and what's the type and you know what they are actually related to um, you can actually switch off some of the workflows if you really don't want them um, and if you want to create a new workflow, you can create a new power automate workflow. Uh, we're not going to do that, uh, but you know, feel free to go ahead and you know, try creating the power automate workflows uh, from this. So just click on home. So you know, if you click on um, one of the workflows, for example, let's just say what happened to this workflow. Let's click on save a message to OneNote in the power one automate. Um, on this page, uh, it shows you. Uh, you know more details about this workflow who created when this was created uh, when this was modified and these are all the connections and you know these are the owners of the workflows and you actually get to see the run history as well so we have run the workflow to save a message um, to OneNote and that's the status we can see that the workflow actually um, succeeded and it actually worked um, and you know you can edit the workflows and you know there are different options that you can actually work uh, with the workflow uh, let's just click on edit um, so once you click on edit the workflow that's where you actually get into you know a real nitty-gritty of the workflow that's the 
kind of you know what's actually happening with this workflow in the background and how you can actually configure it um, we're not going to do that um, for this um, video but feel free to have a look browse around and see what actually happens so these are some of the actions uh, happening you know in the background for this workflow so that's it for today so in this video we had a look how you can actually use different kind of workflows in Microsoft Teams feel free to play with different options different workflows you know some you might find some of these really really useful um, I hope you really like the video please don't forget to leave your comments and hit like and subscribe